What up guys, I am back and today I just want to continue with the um, second installment of my of my solar setup. The first part of my solar setup, I show you a very basic uh, simple setup. So today I'm just going to continue with part 2 and basically part 2 deals with um, this uh, particular inverter that I got from Amazon. It's the Ames Power, uh, it's a 6000 watt inverter so it's huge. And let me just show you um, how I actually set it up. Um, so the last time you saw the solar panel, it was just outside my roof. Um, this one is just on top of my car porch and I'm just gonna show you how I actually uh, uh, have all the solar panels laid out in front. So as you can see here, this is actually the uh, top of my car porch. I've got um, quite a few panels um, in total. I've got some Go Zero panels. Um, I've got the energy panels as well and um, in total I'm actually putting out over here about a thousand watts so these are all 100 watt panels all right so these are connected in series and then in parallel so basically that's the maximum that the charge controller can um, can uh, can regulate before I actually need to upgrade the charge controller so uh, before before I, I finish off with uh, part three, um, this is just part two, and um, so this is just uh, I'm just slowly stepping up my whole uh, you know my whole solar uh, solar setup uh, game. All right. So basically, from the from the top, you can see that it terminates over here uh, to these wires. All right, and these wires actually go. Okay actually goes over here all right so same thing you've got your mt5 meter over here um it's slightly overcast right now it's reading about 51 percent um this is the aims uh, power meter same thing this one reads power from the from this bad boy over here now this is um this is about 6,000 watts you can, you can see here all right this is a 24 volt 6,000 watt inverter I have it connected um, so the good thing about this particular inverter is that it runs the backup source obviously is a wall plug so once the batteries um, once the batteries are depleted it will automatically start charging from the wall plug so it so this is just one of those inverters that you can you could really consider off-grid if you plan to live in a caravan but that's not something you could uh, potentially explore in Singapore given uh, the regulations that we have over here. So where are my batteries? Okay, my batteries are actually inside here. I've got about six 200 AH batteries. Oh. This thing is insane. The inverter is extremely, extremely heavy. So, anyway, let me just go over to the other side. You can see over here. So, basically, the batteries are all hidden away. You know, I fabricated these. Um, these little, uh, these wooden planks that I got from an old bed of mine, I kind of like fabricated and, I, and I've hidden it away from view. So they are all connected in parallel and then in uh, in, uh, in series to give me 24 volts. So you can't actually connect this to a 12 volt uh, ladder as a battery unless you connect uh, unless you connect two 12 volt batteries in uh, in parallel to get 24 volts. Now, what does this actually power? The Ames 6000, uh, the Ames uh, 6000 watt inverter basically powers everything in my living room. And when, when I say everything in my living room, I actually mean my massage chair, in the fridge over here, and my television set. Um, so basically, in everything in my living room runs off from the grid from my this particular from this particular setup. So Hello Shh. Hello 
So this charge controller is the same one that I have in my room, but um, it's now it's now connect, uh, it's now running its uh, maximum capacity as it is already. All right. And again, uh, these two uh, battery packs that uh, that I reviewed earlier in my videos, uh, these uh, these two battery packs actually run off um, the solar setup over here. Now. This particular meter that I have, which is the Ames uh, meter, it's just uh, connected via an RJ45 cable. You can see that the input voltage now is uh, 238. All right, battery voltage is now at 25 volts. The load that it's putting out is about 15%. Um, the output voltage is about 229. Frequency is 50. Is uh, 50? It's about 50 hertz. And uh, you can see here, this is uh, essentially the uh, battery meter. Okay, so once it's if it's on amber light, it actually means that it's on running on battery power. Um, if it goes to the, the the green LED over here, it means that it's, it's actually on electrical power. So more about this uh, six thousand watt inverter. Um, do not attempt to carry it by yourself. You probably need at least uh, two people. It's extremely heavy. It's probably around maybe um, around maybe 15 kilos, maybe maybe 18, but it's uh, very heavy. It's gonna you're gonna strain your back. You're gonna hurt your back. You're not gonna be careful. So I would really advise that you carry it together with a friend. All right. Now I've had this set up for coming two years. This inverter is extremely reliable as well, and I've never had any issues. Um, with this uh, particular inverter. Now, the good thing about this uh, Ames uh, 6000 watt inverter is that it's got um, deep, dip switches over there, over here, as you can see. Now, these dip switches right, correspond to different setups. So say, for example, if you want this in particular inverter um, connected to a generator, you could do so and you could truly be off the grid. So once it's out of power, generator kicks in, and it charges all the batteries that you have. So of course, you know in other YouTube videos, there are people in the you know in the US they've got like they've got a battery, a huge battery bank. But in Singapore, I'm just using because we don't really have that much of a, a power issue. You know, the electricity from the grid is actually very clean and it's very reliable. So I'm just using this, you know, in the event of like let's say like a power failure or a power trip. And that's when that particular uh, this particular setup will actually work so now having said that um, in the third and final video that I will be doing sometime soon would be uh, these guys over here so I'm gonna these are actually what you call like commercial grade um, inverters and I will actually be um, asking uh, this company it's called Eigen Power. Probably be trying to arrange like a meeting with him to just run through the setup so that I could share with all of you what a residential solar project is like in Singapore and um, how much savings you could potentially shave off your electricity bill, you know, on a monthly basis. That was my very uh, short review on the Ames Power 6000 watt uh, 24 24 volt uh, DC to AC pure sine wave inverter charger. Now, um, if you realize by now, you know, I tend to, I tend to just uh, uh, run through things uh, pretty fast, um, only because um, I'm quite an impatient person. Um, but uh, most of the things I, I review is essentially plug and play, and um, you know, it's, it's probably usable right out of the box. Um, but what I would love for all of you uh, to do is to maybe um, you know drop me a comment if you're if you're interested to find out a little bit more about the product. I'll be more than happy to just uh, you know uh, share with you what I know. Um, again, uh, sometimes um, uh, on 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 YouTube, whenever I watch such certain videos, I tend to try and uh, fast forward you know to the information that I want. So I think I, I guess I kind of covered you know the main essential things that um, someone would be looking for if they plan to buy uh, a, a, a similar inverter. Um, I've had um, several inverters. I've bought um, many inverters before in the past. Um, most of them uh, they don't last very long, um, especially the cheap ones. Um, 
So do be really careful, especially when it, when when uh, when you buy inverters, they will they will screw up your electronics if you buy a really cheap one, especially when you don't use a pure sine wave inverter. If the adapters are if like uh, adapters aren't strong enough, trust me, you're gonna screw up the adapter and it's gonna screw up your uh, whatever electrical device that you're uh, you're planning to charge with it. So uh, again, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. See you. Bye bye.